if you are out there in Los Angeles, I'm living in Los Angeles. Y- y'all heard that song, Frank Black? Never mind, that was a horrible impression. Anyway, if you're out there in Los Angeles, uh, you're probably watching this show right now because you be Googling or looking around about investing out of state, right? It's very common, very common. It's not just L.A., it's pretty much all of California, right? Super common because y'all's housing market's out of control, right? The prices are astronomical, the landlord-tenant policies are tough, right? So a lot of people who live in L.A., they're very interested in out-of-state investing, and that's where I come in. I uh, specialize in that sort of thing, and today I'm going to be helping my dude from L.A., get a cash flowing duplex but unlike a traditional turnkey provider i'm not like hey this is my property please buy it no 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 i do things a little bit differently i work for you this is your show this is the show where i work for you directly taking your needs i'm going through the mls and i'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys put down 25 percent. that's the perfect way to buy this that's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. I am here for you, Los Angeles. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Yeah, today, we're with my dude. My dude, Wiley. Actually, as I speak to you today, Wiley, we come hot off the presses. Uh, Wiley and I are under contract on another deal, folks. I'm going to tell you all a little story. <laughs> Wiley just learned himself something today. There's a statistic in the real estate business, folks. Statistic. It's about 90% of realtors fail the business, leave the business within one year, okay? That means if you meet 10 real estate agents today, one year from now, nine of them are not going to be real estate agents, folks. I've made content about this. I've written articles about this. Uh, It's out there. Check it out. But here's the crux. There's a failure rate of 90%, okay? So that means 9 out of 10 people you talk to ain't very good at this job. And Wiley figured that out today, right? We got some dumb son of a bitch realtor uh, who uh, we put this property under contract, and this dumb motherfucker won't respond to phone calls or emails, and we're trying to get this thing inspected. And Wiley's like, what do we do? I'm like, bro, we did everything we can do. We got two options. Option one. Uh, which is always the option. We continue moving forward, and we make more videos like this. We find new properties. We put out new offers. The deals that work are going to work. The ones that won't, won't. If this motherfucker comes back to us, he fucking exits his head from his rectum uh, and does his motherfucking job, great. We'll get the uh, the inspector out there. Uh, but, hey, can't guarantee you he's going to do his fucking job, right? Because 90% of the people that do his job fail, right? So I don't know if this guy's any good at what he does. Doesn't fucking look like it. Uh, that's that's part of investing, folks. It's part of investing, okay? So, Wiley, I'm glad you went through that crash course with me today. A lot of the people we talk to out here, they're dumb sons of bitches. Guess what? That's why I charge you to work with me, <laughs> okay? If uh, you guys come from L.A. and you're like, oh, I want to invest in houses, and I'm just like, okay, great. Good for you, bro. Pay me up front because not every deal we do is going to close, right? So I know a lot of investors out there out of state, they they contact realtors in like areas like Cleveland, and they think they're going to get this high level of service. You won't. Uh, they think that like everybody's excited, like, oh, dude, this guy's from L.A. Great, he's got a million dollars. Nobody fucking cares, bro. Like, I don't care how much money anybody has. Pay me, right? Pay me, and then we'll care, right? So... Uh, that's why I charge up front, folks. That's why my program is different, right? You pay me to deal with dumb sons of bitches like that, and I don't work for free. So uh, the trajectory of the way this works is we're going to put out a lot of offers. We're going to do a whole bunch of due diligence, and I'm going to make sure we put out the right offers, and I'm going to make sure if the deal does go through, it's a money-making deal for you, okay? I'm trying to keep you out of bad deals, keep you into good deals. But every good deal that you want to do just ain't going to go through. I'm not saying it's your fault because it's not. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, bro. It's a competitive market. There's a lot of buyers out there. we got inventory shortage in regards to uh, houses. And 90% of the people selling these houses are dumb sons of bitches, right? So, uh, to be smart, to be a, a prudent investor, you got to make sure you're ready and you know your numbers, you know what's going on with every deal you put an offer on, regardless of whether or not that offer is actually going to result in you doing a deal. And traditionally speaking, most real estate agents are on a model where they only get paid if the deal closes. And guess what? That's why there's a bunch of bottom feeders and 90% of them fail, right? Because they're not making enough money to attract 
high value work, right? So then they start slacking off, I right, getting paid, and then people get lazy, and then that's what you end up with an industry where there's a 90% turnover rate, right? So my pay to play program that I do that's different than other people, folks, uh, that's how you secure yourself an agent who knows what they're doing, right? You're going to pay. You're going to pay me to talk to you about deals that ain't ever going to happen. That's the way it works, dude. Uh, if that doesn't work for you guys out there, you could work with other turnkey providers, but other turnkey providers are only going to sell you properties that they own. Every dollar that you make is a dollar that they lose. And you sure as shit ain't going to get what you're about to get today, Wiley, right? What you're about to get today is a duplex that I think is a mighty fine property, but the seller's got it listed at 144777. We'll go over the number shortly. I don't want to see you pay 144. I want to see you pay a $25,000 uh, a price that's $25,000 less, right? If I was just some realtor who only got paid when you closed, I'd be like, "Dude, 144. 144 is so awesome. Let's do the deal. Let's do the deal. Let's do the deal," right? My interest would only be in getting you to the closing line. And folks, anybody can help you buy a property. It's buying a property at the right price. That is the hard thing, right? So that's why this program works. That's why I'm different. So I'm going to go through this property for you now, Wiley. And I'm going to explain to you why it's not worth what they want. I'm going to explain to you what I think it's worth, why I think it's worth that. And if me and you get this one secured, bro, this is a good deal for you. But if the seller comes back and they're like, no, 144 or bust, well, I say bust, brother. And then me and you, we get back to the fucking road and we look to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Because the goal ain't to buy every property. The goal is to buy properties at good prices. So let me get a quick break, drink of water, and then we'll get into the numbers of this deal, Wiley. Welcome back, folks. Let's pull up the deal ski. Now, this one, I think we need, we need a discount, okay? And the market, the market's telling us the same, right? It's the Cleveland market, folks. You price a duplex correctly, pow! They are selling, right? I get, I, we sell, right? We sell, we work with you guys in two ways, right? We work with you one way, which is this way, the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You work with me. You work with your boy, Jay Wise, one-on-one. -on -one. I break down deals on the market, off the market, whatever, based on you, your wants, your needs, your criteria, right? These videos are all about you. I do not work for the seller. I work for you, right? That's one way. Second way is the investment properties for sale show. That's ones where I am hired by the seller to sell you properties, or I am selling you my own properties. We give you guys the video tours, and you make bids. We email those out every single day. But here's the thing. Here's the question we get. People are always like, hey, let me get the list of properties. And we're like, there is no list. They're like, no, I want the list. We're like, there's no list. They're like, I want the list. We're like, there's no fucking list. No, give me the list. There's no fucking list, okay? Why? Why is there no list? Because if you price a Cleveland property correctly, they sell immediately, right? So uh, we have a mailing list. We email you guys every day. And when we get a property to sell, uh, we email it to you, right? We launch it on the Investment Properties for Sale show, and then we email it. Almost every single property that we send out sells the same day we email it out, okay? Sometimes they sell uh, even faster, right? I might upload the video to the uh, the YouTuber and Holton Weiss TV on a Tuesday night, and then we don't email it out to Wednesday morning, and it's already gone, right? So make sure you're subscribed to Holton Weiss TV. Make sure you're paying attention to those emails because there's no list. There's no fucking list, people. Soon as we send it out, somebody buys it, okay? These things move quick. So with that being said, this thing's been on the market for 206 days, folks. What does that tell you? It's wrong. The price ain't right. The price ain't right, Barker! No, the price is wrong. Because if it was right, this thing would have done sold a long time ago. Now, don't get me wrong. These other sellers out there, right, they don't have the exposure we have here on Holton Wise TV. So they're probably not selling them the same day like I am. But uh, they're going to be selling them fast. I would expect... Any duplex to sell in the Cleveland market, if priced appropriately, within at least 30 days, right? So these folks overpriced their listing. Now, 
It's in Lorraine. I like it. Nice area. Like everything about it. There's nothing wrong with the property other than I think it's just priced too high, right? You got a big old shed, big old garage. I mean, you know, it's looking nice, right? They got two tenants already in there. One tenant's paying six fifty, one's paying five hundred. Now, both of these rents are actually below market, okay? Market rent on this, we should actually be getting eight fifty and seven seventy five, right? That three one should generate eight fifty, folks. The two one should generate seven seventy five. It's actually, I mean, sorry, not a two one. The two two rather. The two two should generate seven seventy five. So it should be generating sixteen twenty five a month in rent. So if you buy this, we'll slowly want to increase those rents up to market. We don't want these tenants to move out. We don't even have photos of the inside. So I'm guessing it's not all that nice. Uh, we'll, of course, do more due diligence on this and make the deal contingent on inspection. But uh, if the tenants do move out, you're going to have to do a turn. That's just the way the crooked crumbles. So you want to keep people in there and slowly work them as close to market rent as you can. But if you run the numbers based on market rent, I believe the thing should kick off an NOI to you of almost ten grand, right? Nine thousand eight twenty-four on average. And as far as the price goes, again, it is not. Where is it? Let's pull it up. It is not one forty-four seven seven seven. I don't give a fuck if seven is lucky or not. It ain't lucky for these motherfuckers because they ain't selling it, right? It's too high. It doesn't make sense. The, the most I would like to see you pay for this property is one twenty, right? So we got to get about a $25,000 discount here. Now, it's been on the market forever. So that could mean one, to, one of two things, right? It could mean that the sellers are just hard asses and they're like, nope, 144 is the price. We ain't taking a penny less. Sometimes that happens. If that happens, you put out the offer. Hey, man, there's the offer. If you ever change your mind, come back to us. And then we move on to the next one. It's a numbers game, right? Or the second thing happens, they've priced it too damn high. Nobody pays attention and nobody wants it. Now they're starting to think, oh, my God, my property's never going to sell. And they're not that bright to reduce the price like a normal human being would. And then when we kick them a low ball offer like this, uh, I've seen people take huge, huge uh, discounts off of their list price because they're starting to feel after 206 days that they'll never sell the house. Right. So it's a coin flip uh, if somebody will take. 120 but i wouldn't want to see you pay any more than 120 if we can get it at 120 it's a hell of a deal if we can't get it at 120 i say we move on to the next one if we get it to 120 i would be projecting out an approximate cash on cash return of roughly 18 percent assuming we could eventually get those tenants up to market rent if we can't get those tenants up to market rent and they move out yeah your cash on cash return is going to go down slightly because you'll have to to pay a turnover but hey that's part of the business. That's part of being a real estate investor, folks. You're always going to have turnover in this business. You're never going to get away from that. That's why, let's pull up the chart again. I've got repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-payment capital expenditures, right? These are things that can happen to you uh, during investing, right? So those 975 line items for each of those three things, like, don't think that you're just never going to have to pay those. That's why I make you assume that 975 for each of those three things almost three grand every year that's money that actually goes home to you that's your money but i don't let you believe it to be profit because it's not profit right because eventually you're going to get a turnover and that's where your 975 repairs and maintenance go right we don't like every single month bill you 81 dollars no it's a whole bunch of months at zero and then boom tenant moves out you're doing a five thousand dollar turnover or like your capex right whole bunch of months at zero and then boom $3,000 furnace every 30 years. Boom! $1,200 hot water tank every 15 years. Boom! $7,000 roof every 30 years. You get what I'm saying? You got to average that out, right? So you're getting an extra three Gs on top of what I told you your actual NOI is, but don't consider that profit because you're going to have to eventually pay the toll, right? Eventually, uh, you know, Murphy's Law is going to kick in and you're going to have to pay for that stuff, right? But conservatively, we're looking at around an 18% return for this one. So this is a nice deal if... We can get these folks to drop about 25k off that list price. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.